I'm Rebecca Schmidt, and I'm Assistant Professor in the Department of Public Health Sciences and Faculty at the Mind Institute. And my area of research is to look at um, gene-environment interaction in relation to neurodevelopmental outcomes. So we know that younger siblings of children with autism have a much higher risk for autism themselves. So compared to the general population where the risk is 1 in 59, um, it's estimated that younger siblings have a risk closer to 1 in 5, so over 20% will have autism. And then another 25% or so might have other um, abnormal or atypical developmental trajectories. So with this study, we were really interested in seeing if something that's modifiable would be able to impact the risk for those younger siblings. So we specifically looked at prenatal vitamins and that the mom was taking before and during pregnancy to see if that influenced the risk for the younger sibling to develop autism. So there have been several studies now that have shown that there's an association between moms taking prenatal vitamins or folic acid supplements early in pregnancy, around the time of conception, and reduce risk for autism in the child. Um, this is the first study that we're aware of that looked at families that already are affected by autism, who have children with autism, and are planning a new pregnancy and whether it can influence the risk for these younger siblings. So we found that prenatal vitamin use, especially around the very beginning of pregnancy, so in that very first month of pregnancy, um, if the moms took a prenatal vitamin, the child was associated with about half the risk for developing autism and down the road compared to moms who did not take a prenatal vitamin in that first month of pregnancy. So in families where they already have a child with autism, this is important for them to understand that it's still important for the mom to start taking a prenatal vitamin before they get pregnant with another child. 